Good morning. Welcome to Sunday worship on the sixth Sunday after Easter. It's been so long during lockdown since we have been able to worship together in the same place. And we've all had to find new ways of being a church community, including with services online. And so I have come into church this morning to celebrate a short service of Eucharist communion with you wherever you are. The Gospel today has Jesus promising the gift of His Spirit, the Spirit of God, deep within each one of us who love Him. So we meet in the name of one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Let us pray. A moment of quiet as we recall times when we have fallen short of God's love for us. And we say together, Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. And may the God of love forgive us and free us from our sin. Heal and strengthen us by the Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. The Collect for the Sixth Sunday of Easter. Let us pray. God, our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that, as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may raise us to eternal joy through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live. You also will live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. This is the Gospel of our Lord. And we say the words of the Creed together. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, 
his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. A short time of prayer, let us pray. Loving God, we ask for your healing hand to come upon all who suffer, the lonely and isolated, those who are anxious or depressed, the sick and the bereaved, and all who have asked us to pray for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks that your spirit of love is in so many in our community who are going the extra mile to help others as we remember those working in care homes, in our health services, in our supermarkets, in our prisons, and in the funeral services, and for all those who have no choice but to work in close proximity with others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we remember all those who have died during this lockdown period. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, our Father, we ask you to receive the prayers and praises we offer to you now, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In whatever way we can, let us share the peace together. Peace to the nations, east and west. Peace to our neighbours, black and white. Peace to all women, peace to all men. The peace of Christ above all peace. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. From the beginning you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time, you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You gave us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels and all the powers of heaven, we may find a voice to sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the work of your hands, O Lord! As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embraced the people as your own. When they turned away and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. From them you raised up Jesus, our Saviour, born of Mary, to be a living bread in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night 
before he died, he came to supper with his friends. And taking bread, he gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ and build us into a living temple to your glory. Bring us at the last, with all the saints, to the vision of that eternal splendour for which you have created us through Jesus Christ our Lord by whom, and with whom, and in whom, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise, blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Join me in saying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are all one body, because we all share in one bread. Let us pray. God, our Father, whose Son, Jesus Christ, gives the water of eternal life, may we thirst for you, the spring of life, 
and source of goodness, through him who is alive and reigns now and for ever. Amen. And now, may the light of Christ be your guide, the love of Christ be at your side, the generosity of Christ make you whole, and the peace of Christ be deep within your soul. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with each of us and those we pray for this day and always. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, in the name of Christ. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia.